Begin today the Gemara on Daf Pei Dalad Amud Beis. The last few words on the Amud. The Gemara is continuing from what it said in the Mishnah regarding a person that sells petis in a uh, basket, and Yukaina this by the Kenyan of Meshicha in this basket. And here the continuation of the Gemara will discuss where uh, first of all whose kalim is this. Second of all, where is it located? And will you be kind of the paytas, the, the fruits, fruits in this basket? So the Gemara begins, Rav and Shmuel, the Omri Tarvayu. Rav and Shmuel both said, Kalov Shaladam, a person's vessel, so this is the buyer's vessels, Kaina le Bechomakim, he can be kind of in these Kalim, the paytas, in any place. And here, Rashbam again clarifies that's only once the price was already set. And the Chiddush over here is, that's even if it's in the seller's property. But still, you can be kind of there. In the only place where it won't be kind of, Chutz Mereshus HaRabim. Besides, if it's in the Rishus HaRabim. Rabbi Yechenen, Rabbi Shemin ben Lakish, Damir Tarvayu, Rabbi Yechenen and Lakish both said, Afilu Mereshus HaRabim. That you can be kind of in the Kalim of the Lekeach, wherever it is, including if it's uh, in a Rishus HaRabim. Or in any, uh, in any other place, Rashbam says, the Chatzah that doesn't belong to both of them, in the Lekeach's Kali, he will be, he'll be kind of with it. So now there seems to be a machlekes here. Whether you can be kaina and your kalim if it's in the Rishus Arabim. So the Gemara clarifies, Amar Av Papel Loi Pligi, they're not arguing, Kaam Rishus Arabim and Kaam Besimta. Rav Rav Shmuel was actually talking about the Rishus Arabim, the, the open place, the public, where everyone's going, uh, traveling in the street. Over there, if you put it into your kalim, you're not going to be kaina there. But if it's in the Simta, which we spoke about before, the side of the Rishul Sarabim, the side area of the Rishul Sarabim, which is open to everybody, but it is more private over there. If you're acquiring from someone, paid us and it's placed into your vessel, you could be kind of there. Vamai, Karela, Rishul Sarabim. So why did Rabbi Yechen and Rishlokish refer to this as Rishul Sarabim, that even in the Rishul Sarabim, you kind of? Because she'ein rishus ayachid, it's because it's not a rishus ayachid. It's not mamish a private domain. So therefore, they refer to it as a rishus ayachid. But they did not mean to say, to say the real rishus arabim like Rav and Shmuel was talking about. It's logical to say that this is the pshat and what Rabbi Yechanan and Rabbi Shimon Lakish said, because the Amr Rabbi Avo, Amr Rabbi Yechanan, Kelov Shaladam, Kainaloi B'chol Makim Sheyashloi Rishus Lanichay, a person's kelim. In the buyer's vessel, you kind of in any place that you have permission to place it there. So, what does this mean? Yes, and only if it's a place where you have rishos to place it down there, you'll be kind of. Ain't let rishos light, but if you have no rishos, then you're not going to be kind of in the middle of the rishos arabim, which is a place which is not private and people travel there. You can't put down your kalim there in the rishos arabim. So, no. so from this we understand that even according to Rabbi Yechenen and Rabshim ben Lakish, you're not kind of, when you place something in your kalim and it's in the middle of the Rosh Hashanah, that's not made for you to put your private things there. It's made for places to travel. But in the Simta, that's a side area where people unload their packages and people, uh, so you do have the permission to put down your kalim there. So there you will be kind of. Okay, but now the Gemara asks a question on this understanding of this halacha from the following Braise. Toshema says in the Braise, Arba Midois B'moichen. There are four different talachas regarding acquiring something in a keli. One is, Ad Shalei Nismala Mido, before this basket is filled up with the fruits or whatever the contents that you're selling in it is, L'moicher. So then whatever is inside this basket still belongs to the seller. Mishin Nismala Mido, when it's already filled, L'lekeyach. Then the Lekeach acquires with this. What's this case? What are we talking about where the halacha will be this way? When this is a vessel that, that's used to measure, and, but it doesn't belong to any of them. It was borrowed from a third person. So the Rashbam explains that the say that over here would be that if you have a buyer and a seller and he wants to sell him fruits or whatever contents it is, but none of them have a keli. The moich wants a keli because he wants to measure in a keli how much it is that he's selling. The Lekeach wants a keli to acquire it and to take it for himself. So they borrow from a third person a keli. So as long as the Meicher is still measuring how much he's selling, so it's understood that it's, it's still the, it was borrowed for the Meicher's purpose, that he's going to be using it to measure. So in, in, that, in that time, what's in there still belongs to the Meicher. But after he already finished measuring, now it's understood that it's being borrowed for the buyer's purpose, that he should be able to take the keli for himself. So that's why then he'll be kind of... Same thing if you buy one, the keli that belongs to the buyer. 
But then if, if the keli itself belongs to the um, buyer, so then as soon as he puts it inside and the meicha agrees to sell, he'll be kind of right away. Over here, it's understood. Only if he said, I want it, if I want a pound, you're good enough to come in a pound. That's, that's okay, I, right? kind of chanami. No, but over here, though, over here, this is even without saying anything. Stam. It's understood that when it was borrowed, and while you're still measuring, it's for the sake of the meicha. So that's the meicha's keli. And when you finish measuring, the borrowing is for the sake of the buyer, and therefore the buyer will be kind of. If the keli belongs to one of them, whether the keli belongs to the buyer or the keli belongs to the seller. So, Rishain, Rishain, Kona. So, then whatever is put in, you're going to be Kaina. So, what this means is that the Lashon of Rishain, Rishain, Kona, it's not so clear in the Lashon of the Gemara, but the Rashbam explains what this means is that when you, if it belongs to the Meicher, so then as long as he's putting in Paytas into it, he's not putting it in yet to sell, he's putting it in to see exactly what he's selling, to measure. And even after it's full, the lekeach is not going to be kaina. But if it's the keli that belongs to the lekeach, so then whatever he puts inside of it, he's, the, the moicher is putting inside the peris into this keli in order for the lekeach to be kaina, and he's going to be kaina right away. When is all this said that the lekeach will be kaina with his keli? So here the Braise says, even in a Rishus Rabim, or Bechatsa Shein Shoshneim, and in a Chatsa that does not belong to either of them. See, this is going to be the main question of the Gemara from this Lashon of the Brayse. Here it says in Rishos HaRabim. Avo Rishos Meicher, if it's in the possession of the Meicher, then Lekana, even if it's the Lekeach's Keli, he's not going to be kind of, when he put the Paytas into his Keli, Achiyag Biena, unless he lifts up, the, like, the Lekeach lifts up this Keli, or he takes it out of the Rishos, then he can do the Kenyan of Meshich and be kind of with it. Not in the possession of the uh, Meicher. The Gemara is going to discuss that soon also. Now, Rishus Lekeyach, if this is a Kaili which is in the Rishus of Lekeyach, Kivin Shikibul Olav Meicher, Kana Lekeyach. As soon as the Meicher accepts that he's, he wants to sell it to him, and he brought, the, the Meicher brought the Paytas to the uh, Rishus of the Lekeyach to sell it to him, so then he's going he's gonna to be kind of this. Lekeyach is going to be kind of in, his, in this, in this Kaili. And the Chiddush uh, over here is, that even if the keli, in this case, if since it's in the domain of the lekeach, even if the, le- the uh, keli belongs to the meicher, because the meicher came to the lekeach's property to sell to him, even with his keli, but he's putting it down over there, he's giving it to him in his rishos, the lekeach will be kainah. Another case, which is similar to this halach here, but rishos halah, What's if the seller had paytas, but the paytas were not in the seller's uh, house or in the seller's uh, the, property, it was paid is that he gave to a third person to, to keep for him, by, by, a, by a shamer, he's holding these paid for him. So then, Leikona, the Lekech doesn't acquire the Kalim, sorry, the paid is here in, the, in this Kali, unless the, the shamer accepts upon himself to designate a place in his property that should not belong to the buyer. Or the buyer goes and actually rents from him a space in this property that should belong to the buyer, then it'll be kind of just like this last halacha that we said over here that it's in the, if it's in the rishus of the lekeach, then the lekeach will be kind of. So if it's by a by a shaymer, by a third party, so as long as you designate a spot for yourself for the buyer or you rent a spot over there, so then you'll be kind of there. Those are the halachas of the brayso. Now the gemara learns out katani mia. One of the halachas that said in this brayso was berushus arabim mabuchatz shein shol shneim. That if it's you're buying in the rishus arabim or in a chutz that doesn't belong to both of them, that over there you will be kaina. That's what it said. So what it's, the gemara explains. My love, don't you think the pshat over here is berushus arabim mamish? The brayso uses the term rishus arabim, so it means literally a rishus arabim. That if it's in the keli of the lekeiach, you can be kaina in the rishus arabim mamish. Yeah, so that's a question of what we said before, that everybody agrees, Rav, Shmuel, Rav Yechen, and Lakish, that in Rishus HaRabim, you're not kind of. So the Gemara answer is, Loi, Simta, just like we said before, in the language of Rav Yechen, and Rishus HaRabim only means the Simta, here as well in the Brai, so Rishus HaRabim means the Simta. But the Gemara asks on this, Doesn't it say that you kind of Rishus HaRabim, just like you kind of in a Chatsa She'en Eshel Shneim? And the Gemara understood, Chatsa She'en Eshel Shneim, my... Um, so, uh, no, this is already the answer. So, okay, so then the, right now the Gemara understands that the Taich of Chatzah Shein is a place that none of them have the rights to put that Kaili there. 
So just like Chatzashayin and Shoshnein means that none of them have rights to put that keli there, but still, if it's the keli of the lekeiach, he'll be kind of the pedis inside of it. Rishusarab also means a place that you don't have the right to put down your keli there, but still, if it's your keli, you'll be kind of. But the Gemara says, no, that's not what Chatzashayin and Shoshnein means. My Chatzashayin and Shoshnein, Nami, the loy, the high. Uh, what it means is that it's a place that doesn't belong not to one alone, not to the seller alone, or not to the buyer alone. Ella, the tarvayu, it's a chatzel of shutvin, that it belongs to both of them. So the buyer has a right to put down his keli there, just like as the, the seller does. The same thing in a simta. And a simta is a place that it's a, you can put down your keli there, and everybody has the right to come there to put their keli in. But regular, not... Uh, huh? A regular Rosh both don't have the right no. to put down... No, Rosh Hashanah is made for people to travel. You can't just come and... Uh, it's not a, a place that uh, is made for putting down your kalim. If you're going to put down your keli there, people are going to push it away because they're traveling. So, so over here, when it says, Chot Hashanah Shoshnayim, it means a Chot of Shutvim. And that's similar to a Simta. A Simta is an area that all different kinds of people come there and have the right to put down the keli there. And only there will you be kind of... But in a Rosh Hashanah, even if it's in the keli of the Lekeiach... He won't be kind of the paytas. Oh, you made Rav Sheshis with Rav Hone. Rav Sheshis asked from Rav Hone the Shaila. Kelov shall lekeach. What if it's the keli of the lekeach? But Rishus Meicha. And this is in the Rishus of the Meicha. Kana lekeach? Will the lekeach acquire in his kelim? Oiloi. Or will he not acquire? So the Taisus the Rashbam discussed this. Rashbam before says that. When Rav and Shmuel said, Kalov shall Adam, Kainali Bachol Makim, that was the beginning of the Gemara we learned today, Bachol Makim means everywhere. And it sounds like even in the Shos of the Meicher. So why is uh, Rav Kahane here now asking this Shaila, or Rav Sheshis that is, rather, sorry, sorry, Rav Sheshis is asking the Shaila from Rav Hone regarding the Kalim of Lekech and the Shos of the Meicher. So the Rashbam says that Rav and Shmuel before was talking about a case when the seller clearly told the buyer, Kelecha, yikn lecha kelecha, that your kelim should be kind of in my rishos. But if you hear the Gemara is talking about when the buyer didn't say that to the seller, so it's just stam. He's selling him, he's selling to him, and it's being placed into the kelim of the lekeach in the rishos of the moicher. Will you be kind or not? So the Gemara says, Amale, Rav Hone said, Tenisua. We learned this uh, halacha in uh, Mishnah in Masech the Gitin over there regarding a person, a, a man that throws a get to his wife. It says, If he threw the get and it lands in her lap, or into her basket, and they're standing, where are they standing? They're standing in his property. And she receives the get into her basket, she'll be divorced. So you see that it's her basket and the husband's property. She'll, be, she'll receive the get from him, and she's kind of the get, and she's Mugadashas. Oh, my Lord of Nachman, so Rav Nachman says to Rav Hone, my time at Pashto Sleimahi. Well, how could you be patient? This Shaila here regarding the, whether a Kaili of a Likeach is kind in the Rishus of the Meicher from that Alacha by the Get. The Machole Meya Uchli Bochle. They already hit with a hundred Uchli Bochle. This is, uh, means that uh, they hit with uh, Uchle is a, um, uh, some, some uh, iron piece that uh, with a, uh, uh, that it was hit against this raya, and they broke this raya, and therefore you can't bring any proof from this. What, what, why can't you bring proof from that case? So here the Gemara brings a few different ways how the Amiram answered this and explained that it's no raya. One is the Amir of Yehuda Amashmul. When it says there that she's kind of in her keli, it's not a keli that's lying on the ground of the rishus of the husband. She's the keli, her basket is, is, is she's holding it and it's hanging on her shoulders and it's not even on the ground. Bukhlal. That's a case where she'll be kind of, but it's not, it's not on the ground of the, of the husband. says that it's a basket that's uh, connected to her, even if it's not uh, uh, hanging above the ground, even if it's dragging on the ground itself, but still, because it's attached to her, so therefore she'll be kind of. But if it would just be in the ground itself, you're not kind of. A third pshat, Rav Ada, Bar Ava Oma, Kogoyin Shoisa, Kalsa, Munachasla, Ben Yachiseho. That here it's speaking about a basket that was lying on the ground, but it was between her legs. And in such a case, the husband is that area between her legs. The husband is not makbed that it should be his space. That's her space. It's considered to be like a basket that's in her space, and therefore she's kind of the get. That her husband is a person that sells baskets, 
And therefore, he's not makbid on the fact that she brings her basket into the house. Because he has a lot of space for baskets, and the fact that she's bringing her basket and placing it down, he's not makbid on that spot that she could have a space for herself to put down her basket, that it should be her space. And therefore, she'll be kind in it. Another pshat, Rabbi Yechenen Omar, Mokim Cheiko Konilo. The space of her cheik, of her lap, of her, where she's kind of this get, that uh, space belongs to her. Mokim Kalsa Konilo. The space of, of her uh, basket is also acquired to her, and therefore she'll be kind of this. So therefore, in that uh, b'raise, or that mishnah in Mesech the Gitten, where it says that he threw it to his wife and she's kind of the get, over there it's not, uh, it's not a raya, that you can be kind of with the kelim of the lekeach and the reshus of the meicher. So the Gemara explains the last question over here, that Rabbi, sorry, the last answer that is, that Rabbi Yechenin said, Omar Ove, my time the Rabbi Yechenin, the fisha eno de makpid, loyal makim cheiko, loyal makim kalsa. On the space where, by her lap or in her, in her, in her, uh, in her basket, the husband is not makpid on the space, the husband allows her to have this space for herself and therefore she's going to be kind of this. Elo says the Gemara, so from where can we prove this? Where, from where can we bring a raya? to answer the shaila that Rav Sheish has asked from Rav Hone regarding the keli of the Lekeach and the Rishus of the Meicher, Pshait Lamaha. You can prove it from the Braise that we quoted before. The Halachas, the Braise brought me, the Gemara brought before the Braise that speaks about the four different Halachas regarding acquiring in a basket. So what did it say over there? One of the things it said was, Bereshus Meicher, that if it's in the keli and the Rishus of the Meicher, Loikona Achi Yagbiyeno, you don't acquire unless you lift it up or you take it out of his rishos. So my love, don't you think, what's the pshat over there? Bekeil of the lekeach. Even if it's the lekeach's vessel, but because it's in the meich's property, you're not kind of until you lift it up or you take it out. So you clearly see that you're not kind of there. So the Gemara answer is, Loi, that's not the pshat on the braise, they're rather bekeil of the meicher. There it's talking about the kalim of the meicher. It's both the property of the meicher and the kalim of the meicher. So therefore, the buyer is not going to be kind of. But if it was the kalim of the lekeach, maybe you could be kainah. But the Gemara asks on this, now based on this, on the reisha, the kalim of the meicher, if you're saying that this case in the beginning of that b'raise is speaking about the kalim of the seller, so seifah nami the kalim of the meicher. That means that in the seifah, it also has to be speaking about the vessels of the meicher. But aim is seifah, what does it say in the seifah? Bereshos lekeach, that if it's in the domain of the lekeach, kiven shekibal olav meicher, once the Meicher was Makabal that he's selling it to him, Kono Lekeach, the Lekeach will acquire it. But the question is, V'i Bekeil of the Meicher, if this is still in the Kalim of the Meicher, am I Kono Lekeach? Why should the Lekeach be Kaina if it's still in the Kalim of the, the Meicher, even if it's in the possession of the Lekeach, but why should it be Kaina? So the Gemara says, Seife Osa on Lekeil of the Lekeach. The Seife, when it speaks about in the Rishos of the Lekech, it's also the Kalim of the Lekech, meaning in the Reisha. So this is not like, I mean, before when I explained the Braise, according to the way the Rashbam explained it in the beginning, the Gemara thought that the, that the Seife is speaking about the Kalim of the Meicher in the Rishos of the Lekech, that once the Meicher comes to the house of the Lekech, even with his Kalim, and he puts it down there, the, the Lekech is kind of. But now the Gemara says, no, it doesn't work that way. If, it, if the Meicher still has his stuff in his Kalim, even in the house of the Lekech, the Lekech is not kind of. It has to be in the house of the Lekeach, and has to be in the Kalim of the Lekeach. So now it comes out that the ratio of the Braise, when it speaks about within the possession of the Meicher, it's talking about both the Kalim of the Meicher and the possession of the Meicher, and in the safe of the Braise. When it speaks about the, the property of the Lekeach, it's speaking about the property of the Lekeach and the Kalim of the Lekeach. So the Gemara asks, why are you dividing the Braise this way? Or my poske? Why are you dividing the Braise this way? True, the Braise says, here we're speaking about the, the possession, the Rishos of the Lekeach, and here there's the Rishos of the Meicher, but when you get to the Kalim, why shouldn't we say it's speaking about the same Kalim, either of the Meicher or of the Lekeach? So the Gemara says, very simple, Stom the Milsa. Usually the way it works is, Be Meicher, that when you come to the house or the possession of the Meicher, Mane the Meicher, Shchichi, so what Kalim are you using? It's, it's usually the Kalim of the Meicher that are there. Be Lekeach, when it's in the house of the Lekeach, Mane the Lekeach, Shchichi. You have the kalim of the lekeach, and therefore, when the brayse says that you kind of the rishus of the lekeach, it's with the kalim of the lekeach, and the rishus of the meicher, it's the kalim of the meicher. So therefore, we have no raya from this brayse to say that in the, in the rishus of the meicher, you could be kind of with the, the kalim of the lekeach. The, it, over there, the brayse is speaking about that it's all in the rishus of the meicher, and it's the kalim of the uh, of the meicher, and the lekeach is the kalim of the lekeach. Okay.